My favorite time of the year. Oh, I love it. I can tell. Nice costume, fish brain. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Only children wear costumes. You're the fish brain. <laughs> <laughs> you miss. I'll get you. Just wait. Oh, yeah. Sure you will. Sure. Hey, so what do you want to do first? Mm, soap some windows? Steal somebody's car? Oh, wait a minute. I got it. Let's create a havoc and tip over an outhouse. What's an outhouse? You got me. I just heard Dad say something about it earlier. Hey, come on. Don't take it so seriously. We'll find something to do. It's not that. I just remembered I had to tell you something. Oh, well, it's got to wait. My stomach is going to go on strike if a candy bar doesn't go in it pretty soon. Okay. So where's your uh, bag? Oh, man, I must have left it at home. Mm, it's okay. We can share mine. Hey, you're all right. Just for that, I take back everything I said to Dad about you. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Check it out, Jerry. Where's your mommy this year, Maxfield? <laughs> yeah, did you finally let her little boy go trick-or-treating all by herself? Oh. Come on, don't, Ruggles, don't. Come on. Didn't you hear what they said? Come on. Listen, those are the Johnson brothers. They're tough, all right? Oh, yeah, they aren't going to be tough for long. Come on, come on. How many no, Ruggles. Get, get in the house right this instant. Get upstairs and you tidy your room. How many times have I told you not to stay out this way? Oh, uh, you're lucky. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, lucky for them. Yeah, since when did you get so brave? Ever since I looked at your face, that's when. You mean, since you looked in the mirror? Oh, yeah? Come here. Take it back, pal. Okay, okay, let me go. Take it back, let go. Okay, then. Let's go and get some candy, all right? All right. But I'm telling you, you should have worn a costume. You'll be lucky if you get an M&M. &M. Who could refuse this face? Wait a minute, we're not going to Mrs. Bartholomew's, are we? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you believe in all those weird stories they say about her. Absolutely. She's scary. Well, then, I'll just have to go by myself. I think you need some protection. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck. I have something special for you. I don't eat it all tonight, dearie. I won't miss this for a Thanks. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I can't believe it. That one crummy lifesaver. Hey, you want some of my apple? Nah, it's probably poison. Having fun? I brought you a treat. A trick, then a treat, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Is, uh, is Max home yet? Why? You don't think something happened to you? No, of course not. Just relax. This is good for him. He said they wouldn't go out of the neighborhood. Did I say they? I meant he. I can't believe I said that. Neither can I. I, I, I thought we were in agreement on this Ruggles thing. We are. It was just a slip. Really. We're doing the right thing. I mean, a boy his age shouldn't have an imaginary friend. I know. I know. You're right. So, if it's the right thing to do, how come it makes us feel so bad doing it? I know. I mean, what else can we do? We're just going to have to see what happens. I know. Hey, what else can we do? We're just going to have to see what happens. 
I guess. I didn't tell you. I finally found someone for tomorrow. You mean for the party? Yeah, a magician. What do you think? I think Max will love him. <laughs> <laughs> my candy pal and you can kiss it goodbye hey that's not fair you're supposed to be asleep i knew you'd try something like this ruggles where'd you get the mask it's ready i found it lying around if you want to try it on nah it's all sweaty inside can i have a candy bar max we've got to talk first what do you think we're doing right now Come on, just one. In a minute. This is important, man. Okay. What is it? Well, tomorrow's my birthday. And I had to make a promise to Dad. So? What kind of promise? You're not going to like it, Ruggles. How am I going to know what it is if you never tell me? It's all over, buddy. You and me. Or history. No. I'm not kidding. Dad thinks I'm getting too old to hang out with somebody who's not real. Wait a minute. Are you calling me phony? My best friend, Muggles. You're not phony. You're just not there. That sounds like Dad talking, not you. It is. But it's also kind of the truth. Well, that's too bad, because I'm not going anywhere. What do you think of that? You don't understand. You don't have a choice. Bummer. Well, it looks like I'm out of a gig. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. I know how rough parents can be. But we sure did have some good times together, didn't we? Yeah, the best. Well, good luck as a grown-up, Max. Thanks, old pal. Think I'm gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> take it all if you want. Maybe I'll just take a couple extra M&Ms. Miss me already? What are you doing? I don't need any help. Who are you? Didn't Ruggles tell you about me? No. Oh, well, 
allow me to introduce myself. I am the greatest escape artist and magician the world has ever known. I am the great Harry Houdini. The greatest escape artist the world has ever known? Well, some locks are more difficult to pick than others. I would have figured it out. I always figure it out. But it wasn't locked. No. I'm a little rustier than I thought I was. It's been a long while. Oh, uh, look, Harry. I don't know exactly what you're doing here, but I'm kind of through with the imaginary. Don't say it. Don't say it. I know. I know the situation. But if I'm not mistaken, your birthday isn't until midnight, right? So? Well, as I understand it, you don't have to give up your imaginary playmate till then. That leaves two whole hours going to waste. Frankly, I could use that time. You could use it? Call it a stroll down memory lane. I just want to feel what it's like to be seen again. It's been over 60 years. You're not the same as Ruggles, are you? I mean, I didn't make you up, did I? Of course not. Well, we are on the same wavelength. Well, now, um, tell me. What is this thing? It's a skateboard. Hmm. This is getting really weird. I couldn't have said it better. A skateboard? Then you know you're pretty weird. Now, now look around. You... You see these astronauts? They could be considered weird. You know, they do pretty strange things, right? But they also do wonderful things. And that's the point. Being different is good because it removes limits and it frees the imagination. Better yet, better yet, it makes the impossible seem possible. And you know what that's called. Mm, I'm not so good at pop quizzes, Harry. Magic! It's called magic! It's what I deal in, and to some extent, it's what you deal in. We both make the impossible possible. I deal in magic? <laughs> you created an imaginary playmate, didn't you? I never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. I'm a magician. Now, about those few hours. Now, if you could let me replace Ruggles, I could show you some magic you'll never forget. What do you say? Sounds cool to me. Great! Now hurry up and get dressed. I don't want to miss a single moment. But why? Are we going someplace? We're going someplace special. A special club for magicians and lovers of magic. And since tonight is Halloween, anything goes. What's wrong? Um, my parents don't want me go out at this time of night. Then we'll just have to use our imaginations. Terrific. It will be. Now, you get dressed, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, do you happen to have any, uh, Halloween candy left over? Uh, there's some on the desk. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you staring at? We don't get M&M's where I come from. I'll get my shoes. We've got places to go, people to see. Hurry up! Want me to help you there? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, Max. Max, now, I want you to hold my hands and close your eyes. Now, Max, 
I want you to concentrate. Concentrate on an old house far, far away. It's a big house, a mansion. And as we move toward it, as we get closer and closer, it will look like it's a haunted house. But I don't want you to be afraid, Max, because it's more than that, much more. It's a place where wonderful things happen, wonderful, magical things. Now, we're getting closer. Can you see it? Can I? My eyes are closed. You mean you didn't see it at all? I, mean, I tried. Okay. Put this on. Put this on. Now, <clears throat> I want you to hold my hands because we are going to take a practice run. A what? Whoa! Very simple, just like swimming. Swimming? Mm -hmm. Just like swimming. The only thing is, you have to stay very relaxed. You should if you have any fear of heights, just don't look down. To be walking on Got air. that, Max? Max? To Max? Whoa, I'm here. How it feels to really Try piggyback for a while, Max. That way we can conserve energy. You showed me how to follow the goal. Somehow, I don't think we're dressed properly. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. From the outside, it looks a lot bigger. Oh, it is. it is. Come on over here. Keep your eyes on the owl. Open ride. Is that supposed to do something? Open 
Pumpernickel. What's supposed to happen, Harry? You'll see, if I can only remember the magic word. Oh, I remember writing it down. Let me see. Oh, let me see your hand. Ah, I knew I wrote it somewhere. How? Go for it. Open sesame. I did it. Join the party? Some of the people you see here are going to be a little stranger than what you're used to. You mean they're like you? Well, you, you might say. I think I can handle it. Somebody? Doesn't he see you? Tell him we are a magician. I'm a magician. Oh, good, good. In that case, then you won't mind disappearing right back out that door you came in. Mm -hmm. Mistake here. Look, why don't you forget I ever said anything and you just stick around and enjoy yourself? Thanks. If you need anything, you just holler. Hey, pal, how about some beers down here, huh? <laughs> you know, you're really good, son. What's your name? Maxfield Finch the third. Wow. Sorry to hear about that. I I'm Rudy. <laughs> Has anyone ever talked to you about? Management before? Professional management? As I'm available. Mm, no. Well, I know what you're thinking. This guy's a manager. What's he doing behind a bar slinging suds, right? Speaking of slinging suds, where's my beer? Hey, cut me some slack, Jack. I'm talking to a magician down here. I guess I'm just not used to alcohol anymore. Are you gonna live? No, I mean it. This kid's great. Oh, yeah? How fast can he make my beer appear, huh? <laughs> Go on and make fun. He's gonna be bigger than Houdini. Ooh, that's real tough. Houdini was only five feet tall. <laughs> Actually, I'm five foot four and a half. <laughs> What did I tell you, huh? He's terrific. Boss, did you see that? Harry's back and talking to a mortal. And the mortal acted like he could hear him. And it looked like he could see him, too. Interesting. Interesting? It's more than interesting. It's impossible. How did that happen, boss? 
I mean, I know that we're ghosts. Maybe and the Harry ghosts... developed a new trick while he was gone. Yeah, that's it. That's probably it. A trick. Or maybe the kid's for real. Yeah, if it was a trick, you'd know about it. He must be real. But I don't understand how. But then again, I don't understand anything. Quit! You're babbling again. Sorry, boss. I got a little carried away. You know when I get excited, I have to talk. I can't seem to control it. I just seem to go on and on for days about nothing to happen. That's better. Now, let's go find out more about this mortal and what Harry's doing with him, shall we? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that, Twit. What'd you say again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The haunted wine cellar? Oh, that's for Halloween. This is a blast. What are we going to do next? Well, I thought we'd go visit a friend of mine. She plays the piano here. Okay, but after... She plays the piano here. Okay, but afterwards, when we do some more tricks, that was fun. What are you smiling at? You're beginning to sound like a true magician. A true magician? Gag me with a magic wand. Hey, Harry, what's in there? Never mind. No, but why the sign? What's in here? It's probably under construction. Or maybe you don't want me to know. All right, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Something lives in there. We call it the cellar monster. <laughs> The cellar monster? I'm not joking. Well, what is it? I mean, what does it look like? Well, the only thing anybody's ever seen are two huge red eyes. Sure. I'm serious. Harry, just admit it. You're making this up, aren't you? No. I'm... Wait a minute. What was that? What? That jingling sound. That's the cellar monster. I uh, think I've heard enough. I didn't hear anything. Besides, monsters aren't supposed to jingle. It's not scary. Either you come with me right now, or you have to go back. You mean... home? Mm. Oh, let's go see your friend, the piano player. I'm talking about the kid. He's an audience for Harry. A real audience. That's what he's doing here with Harry. With a lucky stiff. That's what I want. That me, boss. I'll be your audience. Morons don't qualify, you know that. Oh. Well, why not? What? Well, I'm warning you, you are this close to getting zapped again. But this time, instead of stopping your talking, I'm going to stop your breathing. Now put a cork in it. Hey, you know, I was thinking, if the kid can see Harry, why can't he see me? Hey, that's good thinking, Bob. That's the question that should be asked. Well, why do you care if he can see you? I don't care if he can see me. At least I don't think I do. He could be my audience. Do you know how long it's been since I've had one of them? But he belongs to Harry. A minor detail to it. A minor detail.
Irma, how's it going, honey? She's quite a joker. Uh, Irma, it's... It's me. It's Harry. I'm back. Nobody's there. Just like the cellar monster. She's there. She's just being coy. Irma, I, I'd like you to meet a new friend of mine. I'm telling you nobody's there. I'm beginning to wonder about you, Harry. You're not supposed to see her. Even I can't see her. That's invisible Irma, the piano player. Max, remember how you got here. Why, Harry, long time no see. Irma, where were you? Fixing my Halloween costume. <laughs> how do you like it? It's peachy. You're just saying that because it's true. Gosh, this is such a surprise. I thought I was never going to see you again. Well, I, I was in a bit of a hurry when I left. That's no excuse. But I'm glad you're back. Blackstar's been causing problems again. What's he been doing? He's been exposing everyone's tricks in the middle of their act. The magicians are getting spooked. I better have a little talk with him. I think it's going to take more than words this time, Harry. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Irma, I'd, I'd like you to meet a, a friend of mine. Irma, this is Max. Hi, Irma. Well, he's immortal, Harry. How can he hear us? He can even see us. At least see me. He, he's a very special person. Why, I've never heard of such a thing. Where'd you find him? Is he the reason you left? Aren't you going to say hello to him? I'm sorry. Hi, Max. Harry's always pulling these surprises on me. I should be used to it by now, but I'm not. Well, I think I should go and catch one of the acts to see what Black Star is up to. We can talk later. We better. Come on, Max. I think Irma's bird. Beautiful, huh? What bird? Oh, it's invisible, too. I forgot. You can't see it. What kind is it? How would I know? I've never seen it. <laughs> Harry, is Irma your girlfriend? Why, why would you think that? I don't know. Just the way she acted. Well, she was a long time ago. But when she became invisible, we sort of drifted apart. Did she become invisible? Well, she was a magician's assistant. And as part of the act, he would make her disappear. And one time, he couldn't make her reappear. So she wound up like this. Wow. That's, wow. That's incredible. You know, I think she sort of likes it. She used to say people treated her like she wasn't there. Well, now that she's really not there, she says she's getting a lot more attention. <laughs> Wait here. I'll be right back. the boss ever going to be disappointed? Bad news, boss. You fool. <laughs> Excuse me. I believe you lost that. Cool. And looky here. And what's this. How did you do that? 
that? I am a magician. A sort of guest. So am I. Oh, really? Can you do this? Wow. You like it? Go ahead, take it. It's yours. Really? Would I lie? Oh, it disappeared. Rabbit, I know where it went. Where? Downstairs. Shall we go see? Uh, maybe we should wait for Harry to get back. Harry's a has-been. Forget him. I'll show you things that will astound you. Things Harry hasn't even dreamt of. Who are you? I'm none other than the greatest magician the world has ever known. But that's what Harry told me about himself. He lies. No one is the equal of the great Black Star. Black Star? What have you been telling the kid, Harry? The truth. And what are you up to? About five feet eleven, last I checked. How about you, Shorty? <laughs> I hear you've been disrupting some of the act. Come on, Harry, it's Halloween. I'm just having a little fun. <laughs> Are you all right? He just showed me some magic, that's all. Mm. He's quite a kid, Harry. We don't see many like him, do we, Twit? Why, no, not at all. In fact, we've never seen anyone like him, and that's exactly what... <laughs> so, what do you say to let me borrow him for a little while? I'd be willing to pay. Stay away from him. I'm warning you. Come on, Harry. Be a pal. Be a what? Why, Harry? You're losing your temper. Better be careful you don't lose more than that. Is that a threat? Simply a challenge. You claim to be the world's greatest escape artist? I'd like to see you prove it. Later, Black Star. I'm very busy right now. Come on, Max. What's the matter, Harry? Afraid you might fail and look bad in front of the kid? If you win, I'll leave the castle forever. Promise? Would I lie to you? Doesn't matter. If we can get him out of here for a while, it would be worth it. All right, Blackstar, I accept your challenge. Splendid! But aren't you curious to know what I want if you fail? I don't plan on failing. Come on. Let's find an empty room. The cops, Twit, go get them. Yes, sir! <laughs> yeah. So, you think you can escape from anything, eh, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> May I examine those, please? Be my guess. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> These aren't handcuffs, they're solid rings. So? So, the challenge is off. If I can't put them on, I can't take them off. Is that what's bothering you? Ha <laughs> ha! Feel better now? <laughs> Does he look worried to you, Twit? Yeah. And mad, too. Maybe we should let him know he'll wear off the nose a bit. Are you crazy? I don't want him to know that. Go get Irma. Hey! What are you whispering about? I just asked him if he would take my jacket off. Well, do it yourself. I've got other plans for the kid. All right, I will. That's better. It's getting a little warm. <laughs> will you stop that? I'm supposed to be in control here, not him. Sorry, Bob. Now you're going to see some real magic. Hey, where's the kid? Here just a second ago. I know he was here just a second ago. You fool, he's escaped. Go find him. Now oh, what? Ah, 
was just wondering, uh, if I don't find him, are you going to get mad and do something mean to me? Why, no, Twit. Why ever would you think that? Well, probably because that's what you always do. I'm going to kill you if you don't find him! That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm out of here. looking all over for you. Let me go. Larry's in trouble. Wait a minute. Who's in trouble? You don't know. I've got to see Irma. See Irma? That's a good one. You ought to use that in your act. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. I have been on this major diet. And you look marvelous. So have I. What do you think? Oh, well, lovely. Raffy in here. Upstairs in the storage room. You've got to do something. There you are. What do you want? Well, it's not what I want exactly. It's what Blackstar wants. And what he wants, he gets. Usually. Well, not this time. Why not? Because Harry won't let him and neither will I. Look, I know Harry's good. But we're talking black magic here. And even the great Houdini can handle that. Yeah, and how do you know? Blackstar told me. Oh, Blackstar, he's such a scrounge. How can you like him? Who likes him? I'm just scared of him. You ought to see some of the things he's done to people. You mean, like Irma? And she got off easy. I remember one guy... What's he gonna do to Harry? Gee, I don't know. Probably something really horrible. Irma, well, what are we gonna do? Irma? Oh, no. She's gone. You can't let Blackstar hurt Harry. I can't? What can I do? No, I don't know. We'll think of something. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Twi... I mean, Reggie. Just Blackstar calls me Twit. Let's go. We better. Yeah. yeah. Twit brings back the kids. You instruct him to obey me. Understand? <laughs> I understand. You're dreaming. Wrong answer. But I'll give you one more try. What's he doing now? Most of his magic wears off after a while. He has to keep changing the trick. Let's go in. Wait. How's it going, Bob? Quit! Well, did you find him? Yes, we can let Harry go. Like can what? Let Harry go. But where did you get an idea like that? He's going nowhere. Did, did, did you just hear something? Came from over there. Where? I don't see... Where's Irma? I can find her. But I got these. The feet first. The feet first. Gosh. Hurry! my life. Well, don't I get any credit? <laughs> Irma? That was you? It sure isn't the cellar monster. Blackstar really believes all that stuff about a monster, huh? Well, he should. He created it. What? Tell him the story, Harry. Well, he 
created it by accident one day while practicing black magic. It used to be his house cat. Well, that's why you hear bells jingling when it's around. The cat was wearing a collar when it happened. Then it really is real. Did you um, see the scar on Black Star's face? A monster did that? Where's my wet towel? Boss, it was a trick. What are you talking about? It was Irma, not the cellar monster. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> I knew something was fishy. They're gonna pay for this. Aren't you afraid Blackster will be mad when he finds out what happened? So what if he is? He wouldn't dare try anything like that again. I hope. Get to work. A volunteer, somebody in the audience. Wait a minute. What's Anybody, doing? somebody, uh. Young man, what's your name? Max. Max, would you like to help me out? Yeah. You would? Ladies and gentlemen, give Max a big round of applause <laughs> as he makes his way to the stage. Thank you, Max. Right over here. Now, Max, people are always asking magicians exactly how their tricks are accomplished. Well, tonight, with your assistance, we're going to let you in on a big secret. May I have the curtains, please? Now, what I'd like you all to do for the next few moments is pretend that you're seeing this illusion perform backstage and that the audience is out there. Max, before we get started, I need you to hide right behind that blue box right there, right up on the ledge. Perfect. You'll want to pick your leg up there so the audience can't see you. And pull your head back a little bit. Perfect. And now we're ready to begin the illusion. Maestro, a little music, please. 
what now, boss? You probably taught this guy everything he knows, huh, boss? What? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. A box inside of another box. What are you looking at? Just keep your eye on the kid, will you? As you can see, the box is completely empty. We've now shown you a box inside of another box, and that the boxes are completely empty. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see something amazing. We're going to make someone appear from these empty boxes. And now the production of a person. Lock the boxes. The kid acts like I got nothing better to do than wait for him. Do you? Forget it. I don't have time. Come on. What are we going to do? Cause a few problems backstage. Knowing Harry, he'll come to check. The kid will be left all by himself. Then what? We grab him. What else? Uh. One. Two. Tricks, Harry? You know, it's been a while. Watch this, Twit. Uh, What's the matter, boss? There never was this many before. That ah, probably doesn't matter. Let me try this. Didn't do a thing. My memory must be a little off. Quit, quit clowning around. We got work to do. <laughs> Doing now, twit. Sonny, is that seat taken? Well, yeah. Are you sure? I haven't seen anybody sitting there. It's taken. That was a close one. 
She could have flattened you like a pancake. You know, I think I'm going to go backstage to see if he's lurking around out there. You can't like him? No, I'd rather you stay right here. I would rather not be seen. Watch the show. All right, Twit, enough's enough. Stop fooling around. Where are you? Oh, maybe the cellar monster got it. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Not you. It wasn't very polite of you to say somebody was sitting here when they weren't. That is Harry's seat. Sure. I saw you talking to yourself. You're a real spooky little kid, you know that? Uh, excuse me. Maxfield, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Well, I'm here. <laughs> What would you say if I told you I got you a gig? A gig? Yeah, tonight. There was a cancellation, so I got you booked. You mean to perform magic? Yeah, yeah. When I told them about that floating bottle and glass trick, they went bananas. But... You can do it, Max. It'll be easy. But I'll need your help. I didn't mean you. You've done enough already. <laughs> no, no. That works really good. Uh, comedy and magic, they go really good together. Uh, sure. Terrific. I'm going to go and tell them it's all set. Don't forget, get your picture taken. Oh, by the way, you're being billed as Max the Amazing. <laughs> I hope it's all right. You go on at a palace of prestidigitation. You are going to knock them dead. As long as you're there. Oh, my gosh, what time is it? Oh, we have plenty of time. Don't worry. I wish I never had to go back. Oh, no. A promise is a promise. At midnight, I disappear, and you go back to the real world. Yeah. What's the matter, Harry? You should feel lucky you can go back. I wish I could. Then why don't you? Ah, not unless your father takes back all the things he said. And even then, it would be pretty impossible. But I thought you told me that magicians may be impossible. Possible. I have a big mouth, don't I? Nah. Come on, let's get a cold soda and talk about your act. Come on. Hi, Irma. What a surprise. I heard you left town. And I heard that you pretended to be the cellar monster. <laughs> Who told you that? Yeah, just a rumor. But don't worry, I won't hold it against you. If you do me a little favor. What kind of favor? Why, an evil one, of course. Sorry, not interested. Hmm, I'm afraid maybe you didn't understand me. I wasn't asking you, I was telling you. Uh-oh. Twit, paper and pen. What's amazing? You mean my plan to nab the kid? No, that you would actually come down to the cellar, knowing this is where the cellar monster lives and all. Twit, would you mind carrying on from here? Uh, I just remembered something very important I need to do. What's that, boss? Have my head examined. <laughs> hey, boss, what about Irma? You take care of her. Why does 
this is work. What did you say, Irma? Just a minute. I know what it's like not to be heard. There. Now, what did you say? Ah! I had a feeling that's what you said. Please, let me go. I'll scream again if you don't. But nobody can hear you, except me. Then you help me. Oh, I'd like to, but I'll lose my job if I Please. do. I won't tell Blackstar, I promise. Well, as long as you keep it a secret, okay. Oh, thank you. It was nothing. <laughs> really. The lid, Twit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Twit. You're such a nice... What's the matter, Irma? Behind you. You want to tell Blackstar about this, okay? I won't. Don't run. If you say so. <laughs> why, I, why, I know this magician personally. Oh, really? How'd you meet him? Oh, just, just out of the blue. He, here, earlier tonight. Well, he insisted I sit by him. Oh, how sweet. That's right, ladies. Right this way to see the youngest magician to ever perform at the castle. He's only nine years old. <laughs> Uh, that's right, folks. That's right. Right this way. See the one and only... Max the Amazing! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Max, and my assistant, Harry. Tired. Would you mind bringing me my chair? Thank you. That's better. Harry, would you scoot the table a bit closer, please? <laughs> Harry, I'm thirsty. Would you mind pouring me a glass of water? Thank you. Are you sure that's water? Maybe you better taste it first. No wires. We got work to do. I just don't see why you had to do that to Irma. I beg your pardon? It wasn't nice. Wasn't nice? Where you been? I never do anything nice. Why would I want to do anything nice? Who knows? Maybe your luck would change if you did. Twit, if I didn't need you to help me snatch the kid, I would zap you so good right now. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, all right, all right, that's it. After tonight, you just find yourself another job. Now, come on. Well, well, well. Look at this. His name is Ralph, and he was born in Kansas City. Harry says your name is Ralph, and you're from Kansas City. He's right. That's exactly what I wrote. <laughs> Be 
replace that woman's paper with this one. Do I have to? Okay, okay, just checking. in trouble. What? Yeah, you carry on, and I'll, I'll come back as soon as I can. Hi, Harry. Say hi to the cellar monster for me. That's it, folks. Harry had to go, and so do I. He had to come this way to go downstairs. He disappeared. Want to call it off? You downstairs, I'll check around up here. Gotcha. Excuse me, I didn't mean to startle you. Harry! Harry! No, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to startle you. But did I hear you call for Harry? Yeah, have you seen him? Well, not yet. But would you be interested in joining us to do just that? What do you mean? Well, come in. I'll show you. For some reason, one of our colleagues didn't show up this evening. And you're taking his place. We have the required number. Let us begin. Form the psychic circle. Now we have formed the psychic circle. A circle which has no beginning and no end. Representing the bond between the living and the dead. The connection between us and the world beyond. Now we call upon our spiritual powers to guide us to help us find where Houdini rests. We believe in the powers of the spirits of the other world. Awaken, Harry. Appease us. Lift the veil from our eyes. 
Come forth, Harry. Make your presence known to us. Balderdash. That's what this is, Balderdash. Oh, Arnold, please. Oh, get off it. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's ever going to happen. Shh. Don't shush me. We've been having this seance for how many years now? And it always ends up the same way. Look, let's face it. If Harry could hear us, he would have shown up a long time ago. This really is unnecessary, Arnold. I can feel him. Harry, is that you? Jose, you fired me, remember? Well, that wasn't until tomorrow. Same difference. Why don't you go after him? You, you think I'm scared to, don't you? Well, I'm not. I'm coming to get you, Max! Yeah! <laughs>
Give it up, kid! Give it up, kid! Dream. What? Yeah. Go to sleep, okay? A nightmare? Uh huh. I hope we're doing the right thing with Ruggles. I had an imaginary playmate when I was a kid. I know what it's like. Harry. couldn't come. Seems like everybody was partied out after last night. Max, your mother and I have thought it over and uh, decided that maybe we were a little hasty in demanding that you get rid of Ruggles. I guess we forgot how lonely growing up can be sometimes. Anyway, why don't you just forget we ever said anything about it, okay? There's nothing wrong with having an imaginary friend. Thanks. What's the matter? Isn't that what you wanted? It's showtime, everybody. Come on, let's go to the backyard. What's going on? Why don't you go see? Surprise! What is it? It's a magic show. Come on, so we can get started. Something wrong, honey. Don't you feel okay? Just reminding me of something. That's all. Listen, you stay right here. I want your dad to take a look at you. No, no. You're a 
weird kid, Max. You should be happy, especially today. Yeah. Do I know you? <laughs> Anything's possible. Even the impossible. What did you say? Irma, are you going to bring him up here or not? Irma! <laughs> Harry! Come on up, Max. We'll show him some magic he'll never forget. <laughs> Oh, 